Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, your one-stop shop for mature dialogue. We're going to get right to it. Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast, your one-stop shop for mature sports dialogue. I am your host, Earl Tima, alongside my co-host, my big uncle, Alan Tima. Before we go any further, don't forget to like the video, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, hit the notification bell. That way, you know Dream Team is when we upload new content. Oh, and one last thing. Follow us on social media, Instagram, and Facebook, Team Sports Entertainment. All right, that's Team Sports Entertainment, and we look forward to hearing from you. All right, we're getting right to it. The Miami Heat back again. Yeah, we're back again with it. Um, had a pretty good week. You know, came in off a, a big win against the defending champs, the Lakers. All wins count, right? All wins count. Yes, man. They had three games this week. They played Cleveland on Tuesday. Uh, no, that was Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. And then they came back and played. Um, who they played Memphis. It? Memphis. Mm -hmm. And then they played Los Angeles Lakers on Thursday. Right, I guess we'll start with the Cleveland game, right? That yeah. was. A W, yeah. Balanced attack. Mm -hmm. Uh, what Jimmy had about what? Was it eighteen? I'm not 18, sure. 20? I'm not sure. It, it was, was a balanced good. attack. Yeah, I didn't really watch that game, yeah. the Cleveland game, but we um, because because for one thing, one thing I do notice about Miami, they 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 play down to their to their competition to competition. Yeah, and um and they and I think that helps them with they. They grind it, grind it out approach, yeah. Because they can't. They always in those type of games, no matter who they're playing, elite teams, bad teams. They always in those grind it out type games where they slow the game down. That's yeah. the way they play. Yeah, you know. So they they don't change up. That's because we're playing. And I mean, all these teams are uh, they're professionals. So mm. I mean, but that that's was fact. one of those, that's one of those those grinding out. All of their games are grinding out again, but. It, it wasn't to me that I started to watch it. It just wasn't an, an exciting game for me. Yeah. Um, Cleveland, I, I can't even say Cleveland isn't exciting because they are, depending yeah. upon who's in the, the lineup, it's a good game to watch. But <laughs> Miami was supposed to win. Uh, Jimmy had, I stand corrected, 15. Bam had about 18, 10 or 11, double-double. Mm -hmm. No okay. one scored over 20. Well, that's a yeah. balanced attack with them. Yeah. How did Olin Depot play in that game? Olin Depot? I don't think he broke double figures. Okay. Yeah, because he, yeah. he's starting off slow, with, uh, um, finding his way in. Mm. And then, then they moved on and ran into a hiccup against uh, Memphis. Memphis, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, that's a hard matchup, man. When you have a dynamic guard on the perimeter, mm -hmm. like, that's always the wild card for most teams, especially yeah. when you don't have a, a big in the middle, right. per se. Mm -hmm. like that, that could be a headache. But I, I noticed something with Miami. There's a threshold on the amount of points Mm -hmm. As far as th that brings wins, like right. if a team scores like over maybe one ten to one twelve, right. it's hard for them to score enough points, yeah, to win that. But you you spoke on that grind it out approach. There's that grind, yeah. and, and then uh, again, that's them counting on their um, their defense. Their defense have to hold. They have to hold teams mm. under that because uh, I mean I don't understand why because they have scorers. They have guys that can put ball in the bucket. Yeah, but. I, I can't explain it. I can't explain Spolstra's system yeah. that way. That it's just set that way. Wait, because the reason why they're not going to score that many points is because I told you that they want to slow the game down. So they they keep the game at a pace that teams are not used to playing at. And then those those matchup zones that we talked about, and, we, and, and we're probably going to sound like a broken record <laughs> on each one because those matchup zones is is they rotate. They don't. And 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 it, and it disguises the fact that they don't have that big, and that's why I was surprised in that Memphis game. If I was a betting man, I would have definitely went mm -hmm. against uh, Memphis to to get that win, because of uh, I felt that the zones, those zones would uh, would give Ja Morant problems. He wouldn't be able to attack them, mm -hmm. but but you know, uh, uh, that's they, they have players that, that's right now. With the Grizzlies, and this is, is stepping up, mm -hmm. and they're playing bigger than what they have all season. A matter of fact, their whole career, yeah. and so it's hard to game plan against those guys. Yeah. So, and then those guys, because. Um, but but if you're paying attention, uh, the Grizzlies, yeah, they're in contention for a playoff spot. So you can't even really say that. Yeah, yeah. but that game, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that's the game that um, um, what's his name? Uh, Allen, I think his name. Uh. Well, Grayson Allen. Grayson Allen. Okay. 
I think he had 30. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm, I think that's him, but he's been sh- he's been shooting real good. Yeah. Yeah. Stepping up. And he had a big game, I yeah. believe. Yeah. yeah. Jimmy Butler had about this game 28. Mm-hmm. And um, usually when he has, you know, a great game like that, they can find a, a way to, you know, eke out the win. But like we said, if you allow a team to score 124 points, yeah. that, that's hard to kind of withstand, especially when you're the only other player that scores like over 20. Yeah. Because I don't think Bam broke 20 either. And they're still trying to figure themselves out with the new additions and yeah, no, and then on top of that, uh, you also got um, Bam, who's really not healthy. He's having mm-hmm. knee problems, so he's, he's sitting out some games. He's back in. That's why you know off there we were talking about how uh, Miami might appear to be inconsistent, and we know a loss is a loss, just like a win is a win, and there's no excuses who played and who not. But we at the same time. We know when it comes time for a playoff time that they will have all their players, and it's just mm. about them getting enough time together during the season yeah. to have that chemistry. When I think they do, they, they, just as long as they get them new pieces in there, that's it. And um, Ariza and and uh, Oladipo, and Oladipo, the, the manja, yeah, yeah. It's a lot of new pieces that gotta yeah. go in there that they gotta get enhanced into the game. Yeah. So uh, yeah, with with all that happening. That's why you can you might think that they're being inconsistent, but they're they're getting prepared for the long haul. Yeah, it's playing a, a huge part in in their games because they're five and five in their last ten. Mm-hmm. Currently, they're sitting number six in the East, which means they will probably match up with the Bucks, right? <laughs> I think and they're so. probably in South Beach smiling right now. Like, let me get that. <laughs> Listen, we, we, we know want the, them. <laughs> we know the Godfather. His poster is is the is the son of the Godfather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, and and trust me, they're playing chess. They realize, like, okay, where do we really want to sit at? Yeah. And most people are like, well, they got the the Bucks. Well, I, it's a great matchup for them. Yeah. They, yeah, and I'm gonna say it right here. And you Miami Heat fans, y'all, you, if you haven't heard it before, you're hearing it now. <clears throat> Excuse me. The Miami Heat owns the Greek Freak. Period. Am I supposed to disagree right now? <laughs> well, I was I was hoping somebody would so I could Listen, laugh at him at, because it's the truth. They own him. They he doesn't. They bring a different type of intensity mm-hmm. that he doesn't really like. You're not gonna euro step them to death and think you're coming in the middle and no, it's not happening. Not it's a that. wall built. Yeah, and not only do they build that wall to keep him out of the paint, but they're also able to get out and rotate to those to the shooters. Yeah, and contest those shots. So Milwaukee Bucks, you know, it's about matchups always. <laughs> and right now, if the playoffs were starting today, the Milwaukee Bucks would be playing. The Miami Heat, and I'm telling you now, I'll give them one game. The Bucks, that is. The you, Bucks. You the Bucks one game. Well, yeah. So you pretty much reliving the bubble then. They got one game. Well, I don't think Giannis played that Giannis, game. No, yeah, Giannis yeah, didn't play that yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I'm in, but at the same time, the one game that they won. Giannis didn't play. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah, that, yeah. So, so and because it's now it's a different game plan, and you have to see what it is. But once they made the adjustment, because now Spolstra was able to see what adjustment he need to make without, without um, without without the Greek freak, mm-hmm. and it was made. It was. Yeah. Miami and five. Yeah. Well, we spoke on Spolstra last episode, and we said how. Well, you said, and I agree, that he has a. a a creative mind like he's almost like an NBA he's an NBA coach but he has a college coaches creativity like with zones and right. just trying different things he'll yeah. try like the way they extend out on the perimeter on that zone I haven't seen that I've for most seen. teams and then they they're but the, in the, the zone. small guys in the back it's, it's right. crazy but then the, the small guys in the back end up trapping in the corners of, mm-hmm. uh, uh, on the baseline not the, just the corners mm. but the baseline yeah so if it's a big down there the big is getting trapped. Mm-hmm. If it's a guard down, it don't make a difference who's there. They're, they're trapping right there. I've never seen a zone like that. Yeah. As much as as much as I watch NBA, and I haven't, I've never really seen that type type of defense. Yeah. And I see that's why you on the on the back side of that, it'll be Iguodala, Butler, now Ariza. These are the guys that's down there. And they're doubling and affecting six 
foot ten, six foot eleven guys, and they can't get to the basket. You know what's what's so impressive about it is that he's doing it out of necessity. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when he has to do it. Like mm-hmm. most people, when their backs are against the wall, uh, we don't have the personnel, so we just gonna get killed defensively. His mind allowed him to figure something out, use what he has on that roster. I kind of disagree with you on that because it's not he has to. He wants to. Because no, get, the type of that. guys they recruit is these type of players that do that. No, I get that as far as like the lack of size. Oh, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they recruit that way. Yeah. You know why? Because they don't, They, I think they recruit talent. They don't recruit position. That's real. They recruit talent. And, That's real. And, and, and because of their notice system, they, they can cover up. In some instances, not having that big because when you look at it, most of the time, the way Bam plays, it causes a mismatch. Yeah, for most, yeah, for ninety percent of the teams. Yeah, if, if right, it causes at a mismatch. minimum. Yeah, and then you would think that the mismatch would be because they're bigger, that their bigs would dominate Bam down low. They might have a a good game, but when it comes by the by the End of the game, that defense have affected that big <laughs> to the point to where he can't dominate the game. Unless you all world like A D. Yeah. And then and that's just you can't really that can't be the standard because it's only one of those yeah, really. That's in the a hard matchup. Yeah. I mean, it's how many how many Anthony Davises are out there in the league. Not many. So that leads mm-hmm. us to our next point. The Lakers. They played the Lakers on Thursday. Yeah. A W, mm-hmm. okay. Braun and eighty didn't play. Right, it's a W. It's a W. It's a dub. Yeah, that's it. And uh, they they played well, um, in that game. Uh, Olin Depot, I think that was as far as games I watched them mm-hmm. with Miami because I haven't caught all of the games. Um, but since they made the trade, the trade for him, but that game to me, I think that was one of the best games that he played. Um, since being a Miami Heat, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, man. He he had eighteen that game, but unfortunately, right. That that he hurt his knee. Yeah, and that that's the thing. Like even with a big W like that, you you walk away from it, and you have to you know live with the reality right. that yeah. Because the simple fact is, they got him to make a difference in the playoffs, and it's gonna be hard for him to do that. Mm-hmm. If he haven't built, if he's still sitting out games with injuries, he's not going to be able to help the Miami Heat in the no. playoffs because you're always trying to get get into the flow of things. And I don't know how bad or how serious it is and how long he's going to be out, but every game counts for him not to be on the floor mm-hmm. so they can build that chemistry. Yeah, you know. And uh, it's what's so dangerous about the Miami Heat, and, and I'm not getting out of this this episode without giving him some time Tyler Hero man he's he's in the street his stride he's, he's right he's now becoming consistent it goes back to our saying pressure yeah they picked up Olin Depot and they know that's minutes mm. <clears throat> and if he not putting up oh, they got other people that can replace him but even with that when you have a guy like Victor Oladipo mm-hmm. if, if you play ball the right way him on the floor will make your job easier. Well, it's they, one they, added threat out there. That, play, yeah. I seen them playing them yeah. together, and, they, and that I watched uh, and and that Laker game. They had a lot of that time uh, when Olin Depot was in the game and Butler was out. Olin Depot ran the point. Mm-hmm. He was the point guard. Yeah, and 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 then you know Drogic is back. They're deep, man. They are. They are deep. They are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They are. And I'm gonna keep saying that. Yeah. So they they currently sit in the six seed, like we said. Um. Miami, it's not much to say about him because the culture is what it is. It's ingrained in basketball it's for the a lot last to 20 say years. About him. I'm making a sense but, that but it doesn't wait. Most teams, things change year by year. No, it's going to. In Miami, the culture is set. No matter who comes there, we're not switching up anything. Right. This is what it's going to be. We're not firing head coaches because you don't like them. Mm-hmm. Then, uh, and, and here we go. I'm just, this, this is pretty much going to put the, uh, more, un, uh, more understanding to what we're saying. They're probably the most dangerous six seed that you ever seen in the history of the game. Last that's, year they was a five, a fifth, a five seed. They made it all the way to the finals. Mm. They're six seed, and in our mindsets, I I still can see them coming out of the East. Oh no doubt. Yeah. I, and 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 like we're saying, the, the Bucks, and we're already telling you that Miami Heat in five. 
We don't know what the next matchup will be. But a lot of teams don't want to see Miami in the playoffs. I don't care what they they could drop to seventh right now. Yeah. Philly. That yeah. Philly is the number two seed right now. That means they would play Philly. Didn't they send them home last year? Yeah. That's the first round, right? Mm-hmm. Was it the first round? Yeah. 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 So, I mean, and they, they played them well. Now they do. Yeah. Only thing I'm gonna keep stating, and you said they um they recently picked up Deadman. Yeah. I still think that's not enough size. Not not I'm saying there's still a headache for most teams. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's no doubt about it. If I'm the Bucks and the playoffs started today, I'd be pissed off. Like mm-hmm. I wouldn't want to play them. Mm-hmm. But as far as Miami's personnel goes, mm-hmm. I still think they need a, an additional big. I, although they didn't get Aldridge, and there's not much out there, so they had to settle for what they got. Right. I just think that, bam, that's too much pressure on him to have him do so much. I think Devin is going to do his job because of the simple fact that we mentioned about these zones. The, the, those zones that they have where it seems like those bigs should dominate can't dominate because of the zone and the the fact that they still can rotate back out to the shooters and still have a wall built up to stop penetration not just from certain players we're talking about with Greek Freak getting to the basket and all that but I watch them continually keep people from getting to, into the paint you, they don't get broken down they defense get don't get broken down and picked apart that often okay i understand that okay. and then at the same time you were well, okay they're playing against a big but a matter of fact you take that lakers game in the first half where they got drumming now and they were their drumming was making his presence felt in the middle but by the second half they made it tough on him when he got the ball down there mm-hmm. with that trapping you know and and it worked because Bam had his hands full with Drummond in the first half. And actually, he was in foul trouble behind it. But that zone, that zone really gave, it, it, it took that that presence of Drummond out the game. Mm. Yeah. All right. So, Miami Heat fans, listen, man, we got you here at Team Sports Entertainment. Every week. Every week, man. We, we enjoy watching the team. We like the coaches, quality basketball. Just need you all out there to just like the video. Leave a comment below. Let us know what you think. Are you excited about your boys, the Miami Heat? Also, if the playoffs started today, are you cool with being a six seed and facing the Bucks? Lakers and uh, 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 uh. Heat in five. Heat in five. All right. You have heat in five. Heat in, in, in six. Whatever. Let us know below. All right. Obviously, Big Unk is excited about that because he's willing to bet everything on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, also, subscribe to the channel. Um, no more than two games. Bell. <laughs> That way, you know, when we upload new content. And don't forget to follow us on uh, Facebook and Instagram, Teen Sports Entertainment. We appreciate all y'all out there, man. We out of here. Y'all be good. Peace.